Back it up to the loading dock. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and... Well, ain't like I've never been called nigger before. I nah, know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing personal. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. I say something about being hot. That's when we make our move. All right. All right, here we go. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll let Miss Gale call up your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. Need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all was over in Georgia for a while. He just got out the service. My cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours, got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks, but no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job, and that old nigga who staggers in is hide on the spot. Bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. It doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. Put those bags on the table there. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck, that's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's some guy come around the house. <laughs> God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> All right, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. We've been written now. Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell it. I told them they needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me, saying the lease gives them the right to a 30-day notice. That's how we're supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my goddamn problem. It's my property, and I'll do with it what I please. Let's go, man. This place ain't gonna rob it. Oh, 
hope this combination Skeletta got us is legit. Well, I'll be damned. All right, go for it, Godzilla. Care of this room. You see what you can get from outside. Mm. Once these boys punch you with that drill, we're gonna start throwing this down. God damn it! You triggered the fucking alarm? Shit, I didn't know that this cage was on a different system. All right, we're gonna hold off the guards until Danny's done drilling. Hey. We're gonna pull this off. Kick the harness nest this time. Only way we walk out of here is if we get the weapons stored in that armory. Bust the door open. I'll watch our asses. <sighs> My old man gonna shit a brick when he hears about this. Fuck! Fuck! Come on, open! God damn it, why won't this open? Give me that damn thing. It's way worse than this over and now. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the vault, watch for the drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Well, Sammy had men all over the place. Uh, one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't, they don't get it. 
never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Me is how this is the first time in four years, and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it. It was fucking great. <laughs> Hmm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your cop. Hmm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. Hmm. Sammy's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want something. I say, sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I got to talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side. That was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over in Nam who were running it. Wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he can keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the high low in Frisco, just selling the French wall. Georgie's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. I don't know, man. Georgie's a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low. Come on, we're going through the front. I ain't having your wall here or I ass use the back door. Look who I found panhandling out in front of the train station. Pleasure, man. Boy, I send you to bring Lincoln Clay home. Not the big nigga who ate him. Well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always <laughs> did love corn whiskey. I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realized Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so... 
so proud of you. Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! Paul Lincoln! Bienvenue à la maison! <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. You're so good. <laughs> nice seeing you, Lincoln. Oh, I kept you in my prayers. I really appreciate that, Father. <laughs> now, who wants to get shit faced? <laughs> Woo! It's hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation, fear. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then, one day, a door opens, and you're free to go, just like that. The thing is, you made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door one way or another. Man, that whiskey's gonna hoy in the morning. Hell, man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as you left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you wanna crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. We barely have two nickels to rub together. Now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ! Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you were to listen to me. What mess? It's not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to. Boy, I'm not eyes. warning you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, truck's all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for... Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know Ellis. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can now uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Go on. Those people waiting on their food. Oh, I saw Langan a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. 
And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay and help. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. Most likely. Three month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. I'm gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like the head, but they'll come around. You need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Warm meal, warm heart, full shot. Thanks. Nice to see you. You delivering a real blessing here, Lincoln. Thank you. Blessings mine, ma'am. A couple of days back and they already got you working? Ah, I'm happy to do it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. Don't get old, son. It's a fucking shit show. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the holler again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Lincoln, we got trouble. Run, Regine. Come on, Jay. Run. done with you, Lincoln. Sammy's next. <laughs> He's coming this way. Huh? Something's happening. Motherfuckers over here. Just get me out of this. You boys ought to be ashamed. <laughs> Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Uh, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on the law started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. But this thing with the Haitians... It's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find them? 
Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. But do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet, away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful, yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. C'est lié que c'est diverse c'est suscite hostilité. You sure this is how you want to play this? Last thing they're going to expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the row. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. Open the gate for me. Ellis. Lincoln Clay. He's the one. This time you won't get away from us. Should have killed that old man a long time ago. Take the ball. This was worried that Sammy would involve her. Ask him to come down on us. That cracker asshole don't give a shit about some worn out nigger. Long as the money's coming in, Makano don't care who's handing it to him. What? Don't take it! About to get bloody! Now! 
Mistake going after the hollow. Come on! One more twice, you see! Come on! Twice, you see! Walk away! Not on so too white now! The man you're talking about took me in where I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you! in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me, use me. I get you, motherfucker. You and your entire goddamn family. He's dead. He's dead. He can't hurt you anymore. It's over. Over? Over. <laughs> this is never going to be over. Pajam! Fucking Haitians. Coming this way. Sammy Squares in there. Got something! Reloading! Watch out! Oh, 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 o